IPOs. Hyundai India is all set to drive into the large street tomorrow. The company's IPO has been fully subscribed after qualified institutional buyers came to the rescue. Hyundai India planning to list with a lot of fanfare. We expect about 200 Hyundai executives who have flown down to Mumbai to be at the NSC tomorrow for the listing. Hyundai India's 28,000 crore rupee IPO has been the largest in India to date. So Darshan retraces the Hyundai journey which began nearly eight decades ago in South Korea. So, in 1946, Chung Joo Young, after enduring years of struggles, opened a car repair shop and named it Hyundai, meaning modern. South Korea, still reeling from the devastation of World War II, was in dire need of rebuilding. Seizing the moment, Chung founded Hyundai Engineering and Construction. Determined to transform the war-torn nation, his company would build the highways and bridges that would pave the way for South Korea's future. After constructing 1,000 kilometers of highways, he turned his attention to the vehicles that would drive on them. And in 1967, Hyundai Motor Company was born. A year later, in 1968, Hyundai released its first car, the Hyundai Cortina, in collaboration with Ford. However, when Ford tried to control Hyundai's path, Chung made a bold decision to part ways and instead partnered with Mitsubishi Together, they set out to create South Korea's first homegrown car. In 1975, the Hyundai Pony was unveiled, marking a turning point. Affordable and reliable, the Pony wasn't just a vehicle. It was a symbol of national pride and resurgence. Hyundai then set its sights on global markets, entering the UK in 1982 and Canada in 1985, where the Pony quickly became a top seller. In 1986, Hyundai made its U.S. debut with the Excel, praised for its affordability and named best product by Fortune magazine. By 1991, Hyundai had developed its own proprietary engine and transmission, achieving technological independence. The 1990s brought further expansion. In 1996, Hyundai entered the Indian market with a state-of-the-art plant in Tamil Nadu. Two years later, the launch of the Santo revolutionized Indian roads by its unique design and affordability, and it made Hyundai a household name overnight. In 1998, as Kia Motors faced bankruptcy, Hyundai acquired a 51% stake outbidding Ford. The two companies have since shared ownership of key subsidiaries, and while Hyundai remains Kia's largest stakeholder, in the Indian market, Kia entered in the year 2019 with mid-sized SUV Kia Seltos. In India, Hyundai continued to introduce successful models like the Accent, i10 and i20, cementing its position as the second largest automaker. But it was the company's strategic pivot to SUVs marked by the launch of the Creta in 2015 that truly transformed its fortunes. SUVs now account for 67% of Hyundai's sales. In 2019, Hyundai launched India's first fully electric SUV, the Kona. Electric plans to introduce four more EVs in near term, including the much-anticipated Creta, Creta EV in Q4 of FY25. Today, with a market share of 14%, Hyundai is positioned to grow alongside an industry projected to expand by 4 to 5% to 6.5% through 2030. Hyundai's production capabilities are also scaling. Its Chennai facility produces 8.20 lakh cars annually, while a newly acquired plant in Maharashtra is expected to add an additional 1.70 lakh, lakh cars by FY26 and plans to further expand to 2.50 lakh units. Exports account for 20% 20, 20 of Hyundai's output, serving, serving markets in West Asia and Africa and providing a natural hedge against domestic market fluctuations. If we talk about overall earnings over the last two years, revenue has seen a growth in the range of 25 to 30 percent, and profit has surged more than 50 percent. Now, after 28 years in India, Hyundai is making its capital market debut. In its IPO, which was a fully OFS issue, the promoter diluted 17.5 percent of its stake, and though the retail portion wasn't fully subscribed, the IP was oversubscribed, overall driven by institutional investors. Lastly, about the roadmap. Hyundai India is looking to invest Rs 32,000 crore in India over the next 10 years with just one aim, to regain the lost market share.
but globally Hyundai has warned of an uncertain outlook due to intensifying competition. From a small car repair shop to a global automotive powerhouse, that's the story of Hyundai driving the future. Many thanks, Sudwell. Well, a new chapter in the Hyundai journey starts tomorrow. With that, it is time for us to wrap up this edition of Business 360. The news will continue right here on CNBC TV 18. Stay tuned.